Good evening, people of Ireland. I personally know how hard it is to put food on the table. My own wife was so sick in bed this week, I had to carry her all the way to the kitchen to make my breakfast. <laughs> and our personal insolvency bill will help those most in need. Especially if you only borrowed a few hundred grand, because if you had the sense to borrow a few hundred million, you'd be living in a mansion on Cape Cod instead of a semi-D on a ghost estate in Kinnegad, thinking the height of luxury is a slice of Viennetta or a Volivant. The insolvency rules are more than fair. There'll be a special shoe allowance in the first month, and you can get the other shoe in the second. <laughs> You'll be given five euro for mobile phone usage, which is enough for a whole month of talk time in Kazakhstan. <laughs> There'll be money provided for families with two children. Those of you with more can decide which ones to keep. <laughs> Single people will get an insolvency dating allowance, and the cinema is the perfect place for insolvent dates with our approved list of films, such as Castaway, to help you learn how Tom Hanks got along grand with just a fishing rod and a football. <laughs> There'll be a seven euro shifting monthly allowance. This means you'll have to get the shift in after one Jaeger bomb, or else you'll be waiting until June for the next chance. <laughs> and those who fail to follow these insolvency rules will be sentenced to six months in a hospital, personally run by James Riley. <laughs> but you'd have a choice between swords and Balbriggan, of course. More serious offenders will be remanded in custody at Oros and Octoron for daily poetry readings with Michael D. Now, our Minister for Justice, Alan Shatter, will outline his plans for our esteemed judges. Good evening, members of the judiciary. I know this is a really scary time to be a judge, wondering where the next batch of rhino horn is going to come from. I have the utmost respect for our judiciary, who have in their hands the safety of our citizens and, of course, bottles of vintage port, lots of cash, and the menus to some of the Michelin star restaurants. I'm sure they will excuse me if on this occasion I do not use the legal terminology with which they are so familiar and with which they constantly try to confuse and to baffle us. And I apologise for not knowing the Latin for what I'm about to say. If you don't like what we're doing with your salaries, <laughs> Accordia. This week, Republicans had mixed feelings as the North bade farewell to the Iron Lady. It was a beautiful ceremony. Maggie's coffin brought by horse-drawn carriage from St Paul's Cathedral. I always wanted to see Thatcher get dragged through the streets of London by horses, but this wasn't quite how I imagined it. At home, we're very concerned about insolvency. Homeowners owe money to the banks, developers owe money to the banks, the banks owe money to the Germans, the Germans owe money to the Chinese. Everyone owes money to somebody else. Who do we owe the money to? And why don't we just find this fella and have him shot in both knees? <laughs> then we can go back to having the crack and having Tom Cruise back over for the gathering. <laughs> Guys, I'm so, I had such a great time in Ireland, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> the old side was incredible, it's amazing. I mean, uh, I was, when I got back to my uh, home in my cave in, in Roswell, <laughs> I, I got this letter from the Irish government and was, it said I owed them property tax for a, <laughs> for a house our family, which my family haven't had since the 12th century. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I mean, I know. I follow the Church of Scientology, but this government, they must follow the, the, the Church of Codology. <laughs> the only guy who talks sense in your country is Jim Corr. <laughs> I gotta go. Good night. Show me the money, Jim. <laughs> Oliver Collin, ladies and gentlemen. is live in concert at the Fairways Hotel Dundalk on May the 4th, the Olympia Theatre on May the 11th, the INEC in Killarney on May 18th, and Hotel Kilmore in Cavan on May 23rd. You got them all in there, Oliver. Go to olivercallan.com for more details. <laughs>